What's going on YouTube Frosty here? Hope you guys are doing well. It's official. Call of Duty 2023 is coming this fall. And no, it's not going to be an expansion to Modern Warfare 2. No, it's not going to be a second year for the Modern Warfare 2 life cycle. Even though these were things that we were originally promised or teased about. No, now it's just a full $60 title. And of course, with the infinite amount of resources, the amount of creativity that Activision has, they were just naming it Modern Warfare 3. Nobody with, at Activision has the creativity to come up with a different era or with a different name or anything like that. Nope, it's just a direct sequel to Modern Warfare 2. And I see right through what they're doing. I know what Activision is doing. They know that they made all their money at launch for Modern Warfare 2 because of the name recognition of Modern Warfare 2. And they're planning to do the same with Modern Warfare 3. This is such a thinly veiled tactic that I can see through it. And I'm sure people smarter than me can see through it. So how is it that nobody at Activision knows that we're going to see through this? And it's because nobody at Activision respects their community. Nobody at Activision thinks their community is going to care. Well, guess what? Everyone's noticed. They understand how little you care about us as a community, and they're seeing right through this. They understand that this decision is, guess what? Another straw that's going to break the camel's back. This is a sinking ship that is going down so fast, and this is their last chance to try to come up for air. Because... I don't know who's going to support Call of Duty anymore. I don't know how you can support this franchise when they so obviously couldn't care less about you, the consumer. When they so obviously couldn't care less about their end product. What we're seeing with Call of Duty is what we all thought we were seeing back during the golden years. A rinse and repeat. The lack of innovation. Where in reality, we had more innovation then than we ever have had now. This constant rinse and repeat, this constant life cycle that we're in is just a publisher and a developer that are lazy and are trying to get maximum profit for least amount of effort. And if you're presenting that to a group of shareholders, it sounds great in theory, but in reality, when it's put to practice, all it does is bleed players. All it does is push people away from your franchise. And if I'm a shareholder at Activision, I would be absolutely positively pissed right now. If I was a millionaire that had millions of dollars soaked into Activision and its success, I would be pissed because what I'm seeing is a fraction of the return of what I should be getting. Because let's say, let's put random numbers out there. I don't want to use concrete numbers, but let's say Call of Duty uh, creates $4 billion in revenue for Activision. I'm sure it's more than that, but let's just say $4 billion of revenue. Think if they were able to retain their player base. Think how much more money they would make if their games were competent at launch. Are we thinking maybe 2x, 3x of that? That's $12 million. That's two-thirds growth. And that's probably what Activision is currently missing from the rest of their community. And the fact that the big wigs at Activision, the people that hold so much value and weight in Activision, that's what they don't see. And I don't get how they don't see it. Because... There is so much potential with this franchise. There's so many different ways to monetize this franchise. And they just refuse to look anywhere outside of this narrow-minded vision that Activision's laid out for them. Because that's what this vision is. It's extremely narrow-minded and it's focused on this small subset of the community that they believe is going to fund everything. Where in reality, if they were able to achieve higher player counts, if they were able to appease the masses they would make so much more money. And that's what this is all about at the end of the day. That's why the game is called Modern Warfare 3, is to make more money than if they called it Vanguard 2. Because they know if they call it Vanguard 2 or Advanced Warfare 2, people aren't going to buy it. But if they call it Modern Warfare 3, they know people are going to buy it. And the truth is, is this bait and switch tactic that they used with Modern Warfare 2, they're going to use with Modern Warfare 3, and they're probably going to use it with Black Ops 5. Now, the difference with Black Ops 5 is I actually trust Treyarch to do a decent job because Black Ops Cold War is probably the best game we've seen since Black Ops 4, which isn't saying much, but in reality, there's still three games in between them, and, uh, well, it's the best one. 
and Treyarch's the only one that constantly puts out good games, whereas Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Games are in this la-la land where they don't know what they're doing. They don't understand how to do anything that is good for the community. There's no innovation, there's no vision, there's no identity to these games. And that's the problem. But their goal is to cash in solely off of name recognition. And do we really trust Sledgehammer Games at this point? Do we actually believe that Sledgehammer Games can deliver a good Call of Duty game? No! Look at their track record. They came in to help Modern Warfare 3 originally, which, okay, Modern Warfare 3 was a half-decent game. Then they were given their own solo project with Advanced Warfare 2, which was, or just Advanced Warfare, pardon me, which was a garbage heap, introduced pay to win, introduced weapon variants, a bunch of things that Call of Duty has moved away from, and it just wasn't a very good game. Then they were trusted with World War II, where once again, they, they brought in some interesting ideas. You know, they brought in the, the hub where everybody hung out. They brought in the orders, which were different challenges you complete day in and day out. Like, there were good ideas in that game, but at its core, it wasn't that strong of a Call of Duty game. It had the right ideas, but again, didn't go anywhere. And then they came out with... Oh, that's right, they weren't allowed to release Black Ops Cold War because they were the ones working on that game and were removed from it mid-development, and then they decided to create Call of Duty Vanguard, which is, oh boy, an absolute nightmare of a game. Like, that game is horrific. It's worse than Modern Warfare 2, and that's saying something because Modern Warfare 2 is really bad. So, who at Activision has trust that Sledgehammer Games is going to deliver, is going to help save them, and help bring players back to the franchise. Nobody. People are going to know it's made by Sledgehammer Games. And they're going to move away from the game. Nobody wants to play Modern Warfare 3. I'm, I'm sorry. Era doesn't matter to me at all. Like I don't care. I could play the same era of game over and over and over again. But substance matters to me. And I know the game is already going to be void of any substance. So why do I want to spend any time playing it whatsoever? I don't. And I'm done pretending that this franchise is going to get better. I'm done hoping that this franchise gets better because with Activision at the helm, they've proven to me that they don't want to see the improvement of this franchise. They've shown me that all they're trying to do is milk this cow as long as possible until it stops giving out milk. And it's at the point now where it's basically stopped giving milk. And I'm ready for the downfall of Call of Duty and I'm going to be covering it. So any and all news concerning Call of Duty, stay right here on XTZ Ferocity. I hope that I can deliver them to you. And I'm just looking forward to what kind of tire fire Modern Warfare 3 is going to be. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.